In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to add sounds and voices to stop motion animations. There are two types of mics that I would recommend using, one being any kind of external mic like the one I'm using now, or just using your phone, because most phone microphones aren't actually that bad. Next, you need to figure out if you're going to voice over all of your sounds, or if you're going to record them and save them for later. If you're recording sound effects, then you would definitely want to record them and then save them to a file on your computer or on your phone, so that you can use them as many times as you want in future videos and not just one video at a time. When you're recording voices, I would recommend voicing over the video that you have, usually on an app like Stop Motion Studio or through your editing app if it allows. If you're on a phone, there are a lot of different free apps that you can use to record your voice or different sounds to save to your phone. The one I use is called Voice Recorder, but most any free app will still get the job done. On computer, I use a free app called Audacity to record all of my sound effects and save them to my computer. Otherwise, if I'm just doing voices, I will voice them over in my editing software, which I'm currently using Adobe Premiere. A lot of the sound effects that I use for my stop motion videos I recorded myself with basic household items or Legos and then saved them to my computer to reuse over and over again in all of the different videos. A couple examples for sound effects, if I'm doing a walking sound for grass, I usually just take a piece of clothing and just brush my hand up against it for each footstep. Or if I'm doing footsteps on hard floor sound effect, then I just take a shoe and then a hard surface like my desk and just tap the shoe. But there are a lot of sound effects that are hard to recreate yourself. And if that's the case, I always go online and search for free sound effects, which you can find a lot of on various websites, and then download whatever I need. And if I still can't find the sound effect I need, then I either improvise as much as I can with the things that I have, or I consider reshooting the shot or changing my idea to um, not need that sound effect anymore. But usually, you can improvise with something that you have to make some sort of sound that sounds similar to what you need. Although sometimes it may be less convenient. I will take my phone and record myself doing whatever I need to do for a certain sound effect. Like for the camping video that I just did, I took my phone, I went out to my camper, I actually recorded sounds of me opening the door and doing various things. Go back a little bit more. Hey, you skipped my turn. Shuffle and restart the whole game. Oh. Ah. To make sound effects, you just gotta be creative with what you have. Usually just some Legos, some shoes, clothes, whatever you find around your desk. You can create a lot of different sounds for a lot of different scenarios. Next is voice acting, and if you haven't voice acted in a video before, the first or second video can seem kind of awkward or doesn't feel right, but the more you practice, the easier it will be. Soup for sale. Would you like some soup? It looks like water. <laughs> Whew, smells like it's not. What's it made out of? Well, mostly just plants from my garden. <laughs> Whoa, that stuff is glowing. Oh, I eat this stuff all the time. <laughs> See? <laughs> so, I don't have much else to add to that. Gather some family members, practice voice acting, and each video will begin to sound better. Thanks for watching.